Welcome back to another Beyond the Basic printmaking lesson for block printing. Today we're going to be talking about chine collet, which chine collet is basically to glue collage. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be inking up our block just like we normally would, but before we lay our paper down, we're going to add some exotic or decorative paper, and that gives another layer to it. So let's just start um, with an easy one. So I have a tree carved up here and you can do it a couple of different ways. If you wanted to, you could do like one large piece. It could be perfectly cut to size. I'm gonna just, I just tore some green paper. So I'm gonna just have some green paper that's torn and I'm gonna lay it on my block. You'll see what I mean. I'm gonna need to glue this. So I do wanna also have a piece of scrap paper so I can glue it. I'm gonna ink it just like I normally would. Ink up my block. Sheen Collet is a little bit more successful if you're not using water-based ink um, because you're also gluing and then also time is of the essence because after you ink up your block, you need to then put glue on your paper. I'll show you that in a minute. And then get the, paper, the glued paper onto that block, print it before anything is dried. So it's a little bit more of a timed process. So I've got my tree here. I'm gonna just ink it up. It's a very simple little design. We're not, we're not going for a masterpiece today. I just wanna really show you the process. And I can even see that I didn't carve out a piece there, but that's fine. We're gonna use the Nori paste that you all got. And now I'm going to put the Nori paste, a nice thin, even coating on the paper, and then I'm gonna lay it down. Here's the thing, glue up, because if you had the glue side down, you would just be gluing to your block. You don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna lay one down. Lay it and then forget about it. You know, you can't move it because right now the ink is already starting to transfer from my block onto that paper. Even though I haven't pushed down on it and, and really started that process, I just did that. So, <laughs> excuse me, there we go. I'm gonna lay it down, glue side up, and I promise you will make that mistake once too but thankfully i did i caught it before i had laid it down got my final piece glue side up i'm gonna lay it on my block okay then i'm gonna take my paper lay my paper down on top of it all with my baron i'm gonna rub the back applying a lot of pressure because now what i'm doing is i'm transferring the ink and gluing the exotic green paper, the decorative paper, at the same time. So we're gonna hope that it all stuck well. And I didn't press really well in that center, but, so I'm just gonna do this again. I'm gonna try again, that's printmaking, right? But you can see how the green paper is glued now onto our printmaking paper and everything printed on top of it. So I'm gonna try a different one, a little bit more precise of these coasters. So I'm gonna just take a coaster, it's a little too large, and it's got um, Chinese lettering on it. So I'm gonna cut out the circle. Now there's nothing to say I couldn't use this um, in its full size and it would go beyond the outside of my block, but that could be interesting too. So, so I've got this all cut out, ready to go. Fold that over. Now, since I want the lettering to show, right now I'm gonna put that down, okay? That's the side I wanna use. So I'm gonna ink up my block again. Got my block, all different directions. Okay. 
Now I'm going to take my nori paste and glue the back side of this coaster paper. Okay, move that so you can see. So you see I've just glued it all. Glue side is up. I'm gonna lay it down on my block. Wherever it lands, it's staying. You cannot move it again. Again, another nice thing about printmaking is with this, it's just a sheet of paper. So if you mess up, just get another piece of paper. So I lay that down and I'm gonna rub, rub, rub using my Japanese Baron. So right now, not only am I transferring the ink from the block to my printmaking paper, but I am also gluing down that little Chinese coaster. That's gonna give some nice texture. I pull it up and there you have that one. So then it kind of creates a little, little sun or so behind it. Now, if you wanna do something a little bit more precise, you can do that too. So like here I have a snail. If you want to cut out a shape for the snail and you want it to be just the size of the shell, what I suggest you do is take a piece of thin paper, lay it on your block and do a rubbing. And you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. I'm gonna use the side of the pencil. So I can see it a little bit better than you, but now I've got a rubbing of my shell. So I can go ahead and cut the shell out. So I can cut the shell out and now I've got a template for which I can cut a piece of exotic or decorative paper to the exact side of the shell, and then do the same thing like I did. So then in that case, the shell would come out red, everything else would be printed. But that is Sheen Colet. And again, just like all the other lessons, we'll do a lot more in the live session. Thank you.